Ohren. This is official .OS 2.4 on Redmi Note 3, based on Android 8.1, but almost looks like Android P. The settings icons look dope and a bit different. So first of all, let me show you the about section now. On top, it shows the .OS logo, and if you wanna see the Android version, you have to tap on this OS information. Here, as you can see, it's running on top of Android 8.1. And the security patch here is of July 5th, 2018. And this is the first official build of .OS for Redmi Note 3. And this is the 22nd July build, I guess. And the stock kernel here is a screamer kernel. And we have a .OS OTA updater here. But sadly, it says unofficial build not supported. Even though this is an official one, maybe it will get fixed and we will be having OTA updates featured in future. I am really sorry guys for the too bright clip here, I am still trying to figure out the manual mode on my 200D, so please bear with me. And this is how colorful the settings panel looks like. Well I have to say, most of the things on this ROM does look like straight from Android P. Now let me show you the display settings. Night light or night mode is working super fine here and you can control the intensity of it too. Adaptive brightness or auto brightness is working fine. We do have double tap to wake working fine here. And we have these many accent color options. And we have light, dark, fully black and dot OS UI style. And let me show you the dot OS Neo style now. This is how the quick toggles looks like and everything in the UI turns black and looks pretty cool. Even things like volume panels, Google Now cards and even app drawer becomes dark black. Looks pretty dope. Now let's go back and let me show you the dot UI center. From here you can control the whole UI theme and overlay and stuff. You can change the quick settings panels opacity like this as you can see. And let me go back and here is all the customizations of this ROM inside this .OS extras. First we have status bar customizations. Here we have the battery icon styles like circle, dotted circle or big dotted circle. Next we have clock and date customizations. And next we have status bar items where we get things like vaulty, headset etc. And the toggle switcher here too does look like from Android P. And even look at the do not disturb icon on the top of the status bar. And about faulty, if you ask, yes, we have a faulty logo on the status bar too. And faulty calling is working super fine. And you shouldn't be having any kind of issues regarding faulty E in this ROM. Next, we have traffic indicators. In MISC, we have this brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar, which is working fine. In notifications, we have this heads up option which you can enable or disable if you don't like it. And we have the battery bar option like good old days if you need that. Next we have navigation bar option which is on screen buttons but who uses that on a 6 inch to 9 display. So moving on. Next we have quick settings panel customizations. From here of course you can even customize the quick settings panel column and row numbers. You can disable the quick toggles titles too if you want that, if you want it to look cleaner. Next we have recents, here we have the memory bar showing option in recent apps panel. As you can see it's on the top of recent apps panel and here is how the recent apps panel looks like. We get the rounded corners over here on the app windows and we have this app locking option too up here in memory. And you can clear each app by tapping on this cross icon and we have this clear all button too. And you can change the clear all button position too from here. Now let's go back, we have lock screen. From here you have the face auto unlock option and lock screen charging info option and some other options too are present over here. You can customize further, I mean you can customize the lock screen further in depth. Now let's move to system. Inside buttons and power menu, we do get advanced reboot in this ROM as you can see. 
and we do have this power button long press to toggle torch working super fine here while the screen is off and you can set the capacity buttons backlight timeout if you need that and you can enable custom actions for each button like home menu or back i'm setting the recent button long press action to take a screenshot and there you go this is how you can set custom actions for each buttons and there's a bug that if you want to delete the screenshot from the status bar it doesn't work from the status bar so yeah and we have some volume customizations up here now let's go back next we have general tweaks here we have crt screen of animation and scale animation we can double tap the status bar to lock the screen of course we have in call vibration option and three finger screenshot gesture is there and notification led customizations are here we have weather customizations up here and inside animations we have android p styled animations for the whole ui transitions and yeah it does work super fine and this is how the quick toggles looks like on this rom well i would say 99% of it reminds me of android p so for some reason if you want to show off to your friend about android p you can definitely do that with this rom even though don't show them the about section yet as the android p gsi is not working on redmi note 3 as of now and the stock camera app up here is the snapdragon camera app which is fine for taking normal pictures and working super fine here and if you want portrait mode you can definitely install gc mod 5 and if you want to lock the phone you can just simply double tap on the home screen to lock the device and here is the fingerprint scanner unlocking speed and here are the volume panels which does look like straight from android p2 but actually it looks a bit more advanced if you ask me but it looks cool look at the animations it, these animations are just great i'm loving these animations now let's talk about the battery well well i got a very average amount of battery life and i have to say it's not great but kind of usable and this wake up on charge thingy is broken i guess even if i turned it off i was still waking up my device when i plug in my cable so that's a bug i guess and in terms of the stock launcher here of course this is a modified pixel launcher and we have tap and hold for app icons over here and here are the launcher settings we do have double tap to sleep on the home screen and google now cards on this launcher is present and works super fine and now let me open up a few apps and show you guys the app open up speeds And as you can see this simply doesn't work over here without magisk so you have to note that well if you ask about the RAM management it's just bad but without these bugs the ROM is good has pretty dope aesthetics and attractions if you're someone who loves Android P stuff you can definitely flash this ROM has Volti, camera, Wi-Fi, fingerprint scanner every normal things which you need for daily driving does work fine here but you have to keep these things in mind that banking apps doesn't work without magisk and RAM management and battery life is just bad. So that wraps up this video guys. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't yet. This is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one.